Now the Yankees have three men on, one out. Henry Klein, the beautiful thing, will last two, will last time up. In 1923, Yankee Stadium opened its doors to the public for the first time. The Yankees would defeat the Red Sox 4-1 after a three-run homer by a young man named Babe Ruth. Not too far away, a young man named James Bailey would begin a lumber brokerage firm, working from his home. But that's not our most important day. In 1937, John Long opens J.P. Long Floor Supply Company, a Porter Cable sanding equipment and sundries distributor. Meanwhile, in Lakehurst, New Jersey, the colossal airship known as the Hindenburg would be destroyed in a spectacular disaster. In 1938, Action Comics introduces a brand new hero. He is faster than a speeding bullet and can leap a building with a single bound. While Superman was beginning his career, J.P. Long Floor Supply opens an office in Richmond, Virginia. In 1947, 19-year-old Al Lewis joins the J.P. Long Floor Supply workforce as a mechanic. That same year, another young man would make history. Jackie Robinson steps onto a major league field for the first time. He would go 0-3 for three in his first game, but would go on to win Rookie of the Year at the end of his first season. After almost two decades of growth, James Bailey incorporates his brokerage firm, and it becomes Bailey Lumber Company Incorporated. On the other side of the world, North Korea invades its neighbor to the south, and the Korean War begins. In 1957, Donald Meyer is hired as a salesman and begins working for Bailey Lumber. High above the Earth, Sputnik 1 successfully enters orbit as the USSR achieves Earth's first artificial satellite. In 1963, Jim Bailey retires and Donald Meyer takes his place as owner and president of Bailey Lumber. In that same year, Martin Luther King Jr. makes an impassioned speech that will come to be known as the I Have a Dream speech. Fifteen years later, in 1978, Al Lewis purchases J.P. Long Flooring Supply and changes the name to Long Floor Supply Incorporated. Meanwhile, Earth is under attack by galactic invaders as the video game classic Space Invaders is released to the public. As the 80s come and go, both Bailey Lumber and Long Floor continue to thrive and grow. All the while, the hairstyle industry is overtaken by increasingly terrifying, poofy bangs. 1992. Bill Clinton is elected President of the United States, and Bailey Lumber takes over a distribution yard, renaming it Horizon Forest Products. But that's not our most important day. In 1997, David Williams accepts leadership of Horizon Forest Products, and Steve Garner opens a new HFP location in Wilmington, North Carolina. Across the pond in the United Kingdom, the first book in the soon-to-be world-famous Harry Potter series is published. 1999. Eleven countries throughout Europe adopt the euro as their common currency. Meanwhile, as America braces for the dreaded Y2K crash, Long Floor opens a new location in Beltsville, Maryland. In 2001, Apple puts music in your pocket with the release of the iPod. Horizon Forest Products expands into South Carolina by opening a location in Charleston. The next year, 2002, Horizon Forest Products opens a new shipping hub in Raleigh, North Carolina, and former U.S. President Jimmy Carter is awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. 2003, action star Arnold Schwarzenegger is elected in a surprise upset and becomes governor of California. On the other side of the country, Long Floor Supply expands and opens a new location in Norfolk, Virginia. In 2004, 
Horizon Forest Products opens a new location in Greensboro, North Carolina, and Long Floor opens a location nearby in Raleigh. Harvard sees the launch of an online service called Facebook, which quickly spreads to other Ivy League schools. Nearly a decade after the first book was published, the Harry Potter series publishes its seventh and final book in 2007. At the same time, Bailey Lumber purchases Long Floor Supply. Horizon Forest Products and Long Floor merge. But that's not our most important day. Five years later, in 2012, Long Flooring is dropped from the name and Horizon Forest Products becomes the new company identity. A new location opens in Charlotte, North Carolina. 2012 also promises the end of the world as the Mayan calendar reaches its end. The end of days comes and goes with little fanfare. 2015, Horizon moves into Texas when it opens a new location in Dallas-Fort Worth. Millennials outnumber baby boomers for the first time, making it the most numerous generation in American history. A year later, in 2016, Horizon continues to grow and opens a new location in Houston, Texas. Meanwhile, the Solar Impulse 2 completes the first circumnavigation of the planet by an airplane powered only by the sun. 2020. The world is gripped by a global pandemic as COVID-19 becomes a household name. Through the adversity, Horizon continues to move forward, acquiring custom wholesale floors and WoodPro Incorporated, and in doing so, establishes its presence along the entire East Coast. Today, Horizon continues to flourish and grow as one of the top wholesale distributors in the U.S. But even today, is not our most important day. Our most important day is tomorrow. Our history does not define us. It encourages us to continue on. So Horizon Forest products will move forward without forgetting where we came from. We anchor our efforts in the reputation and tradition that those who came before us have left to us. We owe it to our grandfathers to leave this company to our grandchildren. We accept this mission. Join us 